It's been an issue all over northern Michigan. Dams that have no use anymore and need to be removed. The Muskegon River Watershed Assembly got a $40,000 grant to assess 14 dams on the 216 mile river. Corey Atkins focuses on the one that needs the most attention in northern Michigan in focus. The grant is to fund an evaluation of the dams within the watershed and the impacts. So then we can update our watershed management plan, which really guides us in the work that we do to improve the resources here. It's called the Buckhorn Dam and it's just north of the old fish hatchery in Paris, Michigan, and it's in trouble. This one is a severe dam site because last year there was a sinkhole that developed. So basically the structure started crumbling and we were contacted by Paris Park to come out here and do an evaluation. Behind the fence and under the caution tape is the sinkhole that Marty is talking about. One of the biggest issues of the Buckhorn Dam is its pitch. There's almost a 22 foot difference between the level of the water at the dam compared to the river level. But check this out when it's removed. It's a high gradient river that basically was flattened because it's dammed. When this is removed, you're gonna have a beautiful steep pitch to that river. There's going to be little rapids and riffles and really a, a beautiful place for hiking, birding, fishing. And just think about how hot it's been the last few days. Removing the dam would be like giving the fish that live there a nice cool summer breeze. So there's many pieces at Buckhorn that could be improved by removing the dam. One and the most obvious is the impoundment and We've been monitoring the water temperature in the impoundment and it increases the river temperature by about three degrees. That might not seem much to us, but for aquatic animals such as fish, three degrees is significant. And then it flows into the Muskegon River, which is already, you know, it's kind of on a threshold of cool water. We need to do actions that keep it even, even cooler. Cooler and flowing. Look at the nasty water above the dam. Here you also see a lot of algae that are growing up because of conditions that they favor. And when that's removed, you won't have that algal bloom that's taking place. But when the river is restored... It holds a great fishery of brook trout. This section, once we remove the dam, we'll make sure that fish are able to migrate upstream and downstream. They'll be able to migrate up there. They're going to find cooler temperatures, good spawning habitat. And we're actually going to have conditions where they reproduce more effectively. Good for fish and fishermen. We're hoping that the process will start taking place for the removal immediately. And if we can acquire the rest of the funding, we should be able to remove this dam as early as next year. And I would think the latest would be in 2023. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.